All right, it's Tuesday, the 20th, June 20th. Um, kind of hard to see that these are working. They are. <coughs> um, you can see kind of a little bit of a trail behind it. The ground's a little wet. Uh, I got another two tents on this field this morning. It's about three in the afternoon now. 3.30 actually. Um, it's going well. It's still a little sticky out. Um, not making any ruts though. I am avoiding a couple wet holes. I got 43 acres done. Um, and uh, over the last couple days, well yesterday this field got three tents. You can see the tires got a little bit on just because we are down in the wet part of the field right now. <coughs> Let's see here. Actually, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, I got two tents this morning. This, uh, let's see here. You can see these, this app. I got all the fields listed here on Field View. It's free for at least just for the weather on the field. So that's kind of sweet. Um, wah. Let's see here, I'll show you guys how I get going again, and then uh, throw you guys up in the mount to watch pass or two forward and backwards, or start backwards and then look forward for a little bit. Um, put my steering wheel down here. You can see the GPS, the red line's off. Um, The red line is off because we are having to trick it since we're just using the center boom. See, you get her rolling, it takes quite a bit to get her rolling. Throw on your master switch that starts pumping. We're, you know, we're running at like 5.3 miles an hour. That's putting her down at like 20 gallons an acre. Um, I think I had like 1450 on this morning when I left. I got 43 acres through, so I might be a little light right now, even so. I don't know if this thing is right or not. Um, but yeah, you just cruise through the rows. Let's see if I can actually hang on to you guys, because I'm not having to adjust the booms a whole lot. Um, because the field's fairly level in terms of like all uniform, not like plastered. I had to keep adjusting it. Coming up here, slow down for a second, bounce over it. But you can see up ahead of us, we ain't gonna make it through that. But there, uh, he was able to plant through it. So we do have to turn around. But, uh, you know, it's just kind of one of those things. The corn actually here is doing very well. Uh, it's very, it's getting to that point where it's rubbing the well, it's not down here because it's wet and drowned out in a few spots, but when we get back to the good corn, it's a good thing I tied up those lines on those Y drops so that they were uh, up where they needed to be. So I count on my last pass, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. There's also an odd row right here, so I'm gonna jump over one extra row and just one row is not gonna get stuck, because otherwise I run that odd row over with my dual all the way down the field. And actually, I must have counted too fast there as I'm holding you guys in. I'm actually perfect. You can see the paint. The paint is what I'm going off. As long as the whole field is painted, I'm good. So speed back up to get it at the rate we need, otherwise it'll go real heavy. And uh, that's that. Um, if I need to bump the booms up. Uh, one second here. I got too much going on, so that's why I got this in the mount here. But if I need to bump the booms up, it's the white one. You push up, you push it towards the window, and it goes up. You pull it towards you, and it goes down. <coughs> and uh, plug your ears, because I'm sure that GoPro noise will be loud.
gotta wear on one, two, three, one. That they gotta wear to drive truck, uh, the hands-free talking. Just those little in the ear, it has a little microphone that sticks down. I think, that'd be pretty, I think it would be pretty handy. So I'm probably gonna end up getting one of them. Um, at some point here, but see the corn's a little shorter here, but we're gonna get into it right here. I'm rubbing it with the bottom of the front axle. It's supposed to rain like the next three days. I didn't even look at next week. Um, some people are gonna probably criticize us for being out here when it's a little sticky. I don't know much about agronomy. I've said that before, but in case you're just starting watching, I asked him, I said, does it matter with the nitrogen? And he said, no, not really. Um, we've only gotten four tenths this field in the last 24 hours. The ground, it's greasy on top, but it's windy out today. And it's uh, very sunny in the afternoon. Well, ever since about 9 a.m., it's been sunny. So the ground's drying up quick. Like, even since I've been in this field, this has come around a long way. So the nitrogen's getting to the corn. We have all this product we got to get on with the Y drops. If we wait, the corn's going to get crazy tall on us in the next week. And then we're going to either be running it down with the tractor, or folding it over the axles, or you don't do it. Folding. Yeah, it's just, it's been one of those things where Mother Nature not cooperating with us but you know we take it we take it with what it is and uh, we do what we can you can actually see his sprayer rut right? unit I watch and I count over um, that 
many rows, and that's where I know my tire has to go. And it's a system I got going, it's been working well. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm telling you, funny like that. The GPS, normally if it tells us to steer in, it would have a red line. The issue with only using the center cord of the booms is that we had to tell it I'm 135 feet wide, when in all reality I'm only 45 feet wide, because we're only using a third of the sprayer. So that's just why we're doing it, and I got a phone call coming. 